My name is Adrian Tomlin. I'm a partner at Withers and Rogers. I head up our life sciences and chemistry group, as well as our German office. We really do live in exciting and interesting times at the moment. So the potential effects of artificial intelligence in drug discovery and drug research is huge. AI has the power to provide new solutions to problems we've been facing for a long time in a number of technological areas. Particularly in the healthcare area though, the ability of AI to find new treatments or more effective treatments for curing diseases is huge. About a year ago, I was at a conference where they put up a slide showing a number of diseases and how effectively they've been treated over the last 15, 20 years. Basically, the line was flat. Last 15, 20 years, they hardly made any inroads into treating these diseases, some of them quite big diseases. What we need is a step change in how we tackle these diseases, and I think AI and the different approach that gives to drug discovery could well open the doors to treat a number of these diseases going forward. One of the key areas that I think would be of value is precision medicine. Instead of just giving a, a therapeutic to treat a particular type of disease, you actually analyse exactly what disease do they have, what markers are associated with this disease. So you kind of focus in more precisely on the subtype of that disease. And by doing that and working out what the person's biology is, what their immune system is like and other markers that they have, you can much more effectively target the therapeutic to that disease. Therefore, you're much more precise with a medicine that you're administering to treat that. And that's got huge benefits and huge potential to improve the way that we treat these diseases going forward. So the question is, if an invention is created by the AI system itself, is that actually inventive? In the context of patents, in order to be patentable, the new technology has to be inventive. It can't be obvious. So I'd like to give an example here, and this is a real example, and it comes from NASA. NASA had to generate an antenna to detect a certain series of waves. And they put three experts in a room, and they asked them to design an antenna to do that. And they did. They come up with a particular antenna, and it detected the waves. At the same time, they set up an AI system. They inputted in the rules. They provided data to it, and they set the system running. The system came up with an antenna, and it was a completely left-field shape. It was very, very different in design to what was come up with by the three experts. And when they tested them, the AI antenna was far superior. Therefore, in this context, I would strongly argue that that antenna generated by the AI system is clearly inventive. It was something new, something left field, and gave a better result. So the answer is yes, AI and technology generated by AI definitely going to be patentable going forward and inventive. If you apply that kind of context to drug discovery, the idea of trying to find some drug candidate that fits in the pocket on some receptor provides a lot of excitement, at least to me, that there's going to be some new and interesting innovation here. Now, of course, if you come up with something that's really quite different in shape or form to what would have been expected, that's clearly a good argument for there being an invention there. So I think that actually stuff generated by AI can be inventive and often will be inventive. Questions come, though, that when AI gets quite ubiquitous and you just ask the AI system, provide me another antenna, provide me another antenna to detect these different waves. If it happens again and again and again, does it reach a point whereby, well, you just know you're going to get the answer that you need? And because it becomes obvious that you're going to get that answer, is there an inventive step there? We're not there yet, but it's going to be very interesting to see how that develops going forward.